Welcome to Susan's Garden. We're going to talk about hardy geraniums. Now I know everybody knows the geraniums that they see in pots during the summer. They're reds and pinks and fuchsia. Those are your annual um, geraniums that don't last over winter. But the hardy geranium, which is a low growing geranium, actually will last. It's a perennial and will come back year after year. So it brings your garden lots of beauty and it's a great ground cover. The colors are purples and some pinks and lavender, but they're so striking in the bed. I have the, the dyes here. They come with, they're a five petal flower. There is a stamen and a calyx and the leaves. So I've gone ahead and die cut in a purple, which is uh, the shade that I actually have in my garden. What we're going to do is place one of the petals on the non-stick mat because I want to add some color. First, I'm going to add a little bit of shading using the pan pastels. And I'm just going to shade a little bit of the end there with the color, a little deeper purple than what, what the color of the paper is. And then I've gone to a fine tip pen and I'm going to just stroke some lines on that right over top of the pan pastels. And it doesn't bleed, it doesn't flake off, it does very well. Once I've done that, I can place it on my molding pad and I'm going to use the large end of the loop tool and I'm going to shape the petal. And you can see I'm not even using my opposite hand. I'm only using the hand that has the tool in it because I want to get the most dimension out of the petal. So I, I've shaped the petal, but on those lines where I accented with the fine point pen, I'm going to place it over here on my leaf pad and I'm going to use my leaf to tool to go right over top of those. So wherever I've made a line, I'm going to press down and add the character line over top of it, just so it kind of digs in it a little bit deeper into the, the flower and you really see that dimension. Now, once you've done that, you can use your tweezers, pinch the end, and then you're going to bend out the outer part of the petal. Just kind of going around, adding some dimension and detail to it. Now you can see I've, I've done one here. This is the calyx. And let's go ahead and give that some dimension by taking the small ball stylus and just stirring it and getting it to cup up. I will place it on my nonstick pad. I'm gonna take a little bit of glue on the end and drag it through, and I'm gonna place it on one of the projections. Now make sure you leave your center open. See, I've only gone on the projection. I have not gone to the center. When you look down at the petals, it has that airy look in between, so you don't wanna get them too close. So I've done that on the one here that I've, I've got four around with one more projection left. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to dip it in. This is my last one to go on and I'm going to place it on that last projection. And you can really see how I've left that middle open. So I've set the flower in place on my project. Let's pretend. The calyx is done in a color of paper that's a little bit lighter than the shade you choose for the flower. And again, I'll take my scissors and cut each one of the, the little filaments in half until I fringe it out like this. And I've got the tab on it like I have on so many of my stamens that I roll. Catch your tweezers onto that tab and roll towards the opposite end. If we take a toothpick and add a little bit of glue to that, finish the roll and seal it. It's secure. I'm going to hold that pinch for a second while I fan out the, the projections of the stamen. And then I'm going to lightly dip that into the glue. And I think I'm going to add to this one, I'm going to use this deeper purple. Um, pollen from Woodland Scenics. I think that's going to add a nice color to my flower. I'm going to hold on to the, the tip with my tweezers. I'm going to dip it in the glue and then just set it in place. Now I fanned it out a bit. You do still want to see the green, so make sure it's not too tight. Now the leaves um, are 
somewhat similar to the ones you're used to. I'm going to place them on the leaf mat. This one's down. And using the leaf tool, I'm going to add some stem lines. You can bend up on them slightly if you like, and then you can add a little bit of highlighting as I've done on this one here, if you can see that. And then go ahead and wherever, here's the little stem line right down there. I'm going to dip it in some glue and I'm going to slide it under my, my project. Now, just as I've done on this one here, I've, I've done about three leaves around it and it makes for a beautiful flower that adds a pop of color to any bouquet.